this tutorial is how to make the trellis stitch. It's not a hard stitch and I know that some of you have been frustrated at trying to make the stitch and hopefully this video will help you make the stitch easier. Now for demonstration purposes, I'm using a Pearl Cotton number no. five. It's Eleganza 103 and I'm gonna be using a tapestry needle. For this trellis stitch, I have backstitched a circle in my background here. And if you look at it, these stitches are pretty consistent. You want those back stitches to not be too big, not too small, but you want them to sort of be the same size and it'll make your trellis stitch look much better. So we're gonna start here and I'm gonna start on the inside of my circle in between two stitches. Get that going here, okay? Just like this. And then I come up to the top and I'm gonna take my tapestry needle and I'm gonna go under this loop and I'm going to wrap the thread counterclockwise, okay? I always say front to back, it's just easier for me to, to see the front to back. And what I mean is wrapping your thread from the front of the needle to the back or counterclockwise. So you're gonna do this for each loop. And you're gonna pull your needle through, pull the thread, and you're gonna make a little knot, okay? And you're gonna go to the next one. Do the same thing. Wrap your thread front to back and pull your needle through and make a little knot, okay? So this is what it's gonna look like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stitch all the way around this circle and then I will come back and show you the next step. You can see here that I've gone all the way around and I'm ready to start the second round of knots. Now, all you're gonna do is look for the bar that's in between the two knots, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Because you're gonna stick your needle through there from the inside out, and if you look, you can see I've got a knot here and a knot right there. That is where your needle's gonna go. You're gonna do the same thing as you did before, wrapping front to back, pulling your needle through, making a little knot. You're gonna look for the second one and it's right there. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get really close so I can show you. Okay, and you're gonna do the same thing on the second round and pull your needle through and look for the next bar. And if you noticed, I, I use my side of my needle to just kind of push the knot aside so I can find it really easily. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep on going. We're gonna do the next round the same way. I'm gonna go all the way around and then I'm going to show you how to do the decrease. Okay, I've come all the way around and did the second round and I'm gonna start the third round. And one thing I should note that if you're right-handed, you're gonna do this stitch exactly the same way that I'm doing it but you're going to be doing it with your right hand and it's super easy. So all, all you right-handed people, you're gonna do the same thing, but just with your right hand. You're going to go through that bar, you're gonna wrap it front to back, and you're gonna pull it through and make a little knot. And I'll do it again. Go through the bar, okay? You're gonna wrap it front to back, and then you're gonna pull it through. That's It's exactly the same as a lefty. You can go any direction you want. If you wanna go clockwise, you can. If you wanna go counterclockwise, you can do that too. It doesn't matter. You're still gonna get the same result. So now I'm gonna be stitching here, and I think it's time to do a decrease, okay? Now, this is kind of subjective. I kind of just make judgment calls of my decreases because if you don't, well, and one thing you need to keep in mind, if you don't decrease, you're just gonna get like a tower. So I do one to two decreases in a round, just depending on how it's looking. 
but let's just say I am ready to do a decrease, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip a bar. So if you look right here, here's a bar. I'm gonna skip it and I'm gonna go to the next one, okay? And I'm gonna just wrap it front to back and I'm gonna keep going. You can kind of see where I've skipped it, but as you go around, it will kind of fall into place and you will not see a gap, I promise. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep going and I'm probably gonna decrease on the other side just to see what it looks like. So I'm gonna keep stitching and then I'll come back and we'll have a look at my progress. As you can see here, I'm about to run out of thread. Now I purposely did not pull a long length of thread to do the trellis stitch because I wanted to show you how to add thread when you're gonna run out. Or if you wanted to change your color, you could also do it this way. So I've already made uh, the next stitch and the little knot, but I haven't pulled it tight yet. So I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, see I've kind of left it loose and I have threaded a new tapestry needle with new thread. Now this is just how I do it. I don't, this is just my method. I think my stitches look better when I do it like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up through the back of my stitch, or my back of my work, and then I'm gonna come through that little knot, just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull that knot tight, just like that. Okay, so, so basically I'm putting the new thread through that knot so it looks kind of seamless. So now I can take my thread that is going to, gonna end and we're gonna go and take it to the back just like that, okay? So, oops, just get that back there. And now we're ready to start again with the new length, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up to the top here. I'm gonna wrap and I'm gonna pull it through and I'm gonna keep on going, okay? Oops. So I'm gonna keep working this stitch and I will show you what it looks like when I've pulled everything tight and I've gotten close to the end. So I'm gonna keep going around and around. I'm gonna be decreasing so that it turns out just like this. So as you see here, I'm stitching around and around and starting to close the circle. Now I have found that as you get closer to the center, you need to do more decreases. So I've been decreasing a little bit more as I go around. So I'm gonna give you a close up look of what my circle looks like. And can you tell me where I added the new thread? Let me know if you can. So I'm gonna keep on going here and I'm gonna make a few more rounds to close the circle. And I'll probably decrease again.
So you can see that I have finished the circle. I brought my thread to the back and finished this trellis stitch. I hope this video helps and if you enjoy it, please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, give me a like and keep it wooly. Thank you.